Right, what I want to look at here is the new compare tool in, uh, in Jamroom. So you can uh, specifically uh, comparing changes. So you can see what changed if you've ever cloned a skin. So what I've got set up here now is the Elastic skin, which is at version 1.2.2. Uh, and I've cloned that to to call it uh, custom. So it's the same skin, except for the uh, the custom one is uh, cloned off of version 1.2.2. So we're going to make some changes here. Uh, templates header is one file I know that's been changed in the upcoming uh, uh, release, which we'll have a look at in a second, and we'll put something in here. H1. We'll put a, a new title in there, uh, just inside our, our custom skin, and save the changes. And mark that as active. Doesn't really matter if it's active or not right now, because we're looking at the uh, at the compare system. Uh, so what we've got right now is uh, we can compare uh, the custom header uh, with the default uh, header. This is how it was. When we, from the version that we've cloned it and this is the new section that we've got in here and if we wanted to revert uh, just that section back we could click this button and that would uh, take us back to where we were but we don't want to do that so let's refresh that uh, so we've got the, the latest version here and we can edit this part here but we can't edit this part here because that's not the template we're working on if we wanted to compare the uh, the header template of our current uh, XX custom skin uh, with the uh, the previous one that we just had, uh, we can look at uh, compare it against the uh, elastic header, and it's also showing the same changes. It's also got another change in there, uh, so it's showing uh, these two things are different between uh, because this one says custom and this one says elastic. That's why it's different. Uh, it shows the differences between uh, the elastic skin and the current version of the uh, the header that you've got there. Uh, so if we wanted to go and update our system, uh, we'll do that now, uh, and update the elastic skin, we're going to uh, marketplace system updates, and now we've got a new version of elastic that's come in uh, that we want to compare against our current header to see what uh, what the new changes in elastic are, so we'll just hit refresh there to get us back to our, our base system, and we'll go to the default uh, 1.2.3 which is the current one which is going to be the same as default but we can specifically select it. Hit up and then we can see what uh, all of the different things that have changed and uh, it looks like the only thing that's changed there is uh, is this part here this link on the mobile device has been removed in 1.2.3 uh, if we wanted to remove it as well you know, we could click this button and drag that over to our new version uh, you've got a lot of options about what you can do, so currently we can compare our, our clone skin which came off uh, Elastic 1.2.2, we can compare that to uh, the, the same file in the Elastic skin, uh, another version in the Elastic skin, the current default version in the Elastic skin, or any other version of the same named file. We can also compare it to the, uh, to the default version of the, of the file, the uncustomized version. Let's just do that to see what changes we made to it. There we go. And it's just showing us just the change that we made before. Uh, so that, that's the, uh, if you did want to, to keep that or add any other changes in there, uh, you can uh, save that and that'll update your, uh, tell you which uh, file you've just updated. Uh, so the, that left hand side is the same as the modify uh, section, but modify gives you a lot more space. So if we go back there, uh, compare. You can modify from either the uh, the compare template uh, or the modify template, but uh, the compare one lets you uh, edit and also look at what's ha happening in other files at the same time.